Oops, I did it again. I went to the bins. Want to see what I got? Stay tuned because we're going to shoot right in and cue that intro. Hello, my beautiful friends. Today I have my favorite video, which is a Goodwill outlet video. And I am going to show you guys what I got on this amazing trip. And if you guys is new to my channel, my name is Ariel. I do reselling as a full-time business. I sell on the app called Poshmark. If you guys don't know what reselling is, it's when you thrift items and save clothes because you don't want it to get recycled or trashed or into the landfill thrown around so i just save clothes for a living and i also save other people by selling them the clothes that they want for their dreams but we're gonna skip past that part but guys today we have a very special video if you guys know i love the goodwill outlet and i love the salvation army i talk about it almost in every video but i am a quick flip reseller and i am a reseller of second chances so i resell secondhand clothing i bring it to you guys to give it the chance to live and to breathe again however shift over here as you guys saw in the intro we're gonna get started i found a new to me brand which i am not going to say it because nine out of ten i definitely will butcher it but focus focus there we go and that's the brand yeah we're not gonna try to say that either way i tried to stay away from the shoe section right i, I was online when i found these shoes because it was time for me to go whatever the case is and the people were really wrapping up they closed i think it was on the sunday so they closed like at five however they were wrapping up and i stayed away from the shoe band the whole time but when I saw these, these looked they're so unique and I'm not really, really hands on with shoes, but I do know what to look for when I'm selling shoes. Um, style is definitely one of them. Always look for the converted size chart. If it says the 41, 39, um, always look if it's made in Italy, Spain, USA. It's just key, you know, pointers that you look for when reselling, when you want to look for shoes or clothes and you look and see if the if it's genuine leather so this shoe had everything that i was looking for and you can feel the leather and almost ensure that it's pretty neat i love that this type of line detail super cute i mean if this was my size i would have kept it but the great thing is is that i looked it up on posh the comps definitely before i got it even though it's the bins, I really encourage people to look up comps. I don't know. If you want to scale your business, look it up regardless. It doesn't hurt. But these was in really good shape. I looked up on Poshmark the comps of these shoes. They're ranging from anywhere from 50 and up. These, this particular style I got was really selling in the $50 range. So I think $50 to $60 range, I'm going to list it as $55, beat some competition. Hopefully, if I could sell it for $50 or $45, I am comfortable with that. Oh, guys, before I get started, this is a total of 27 pounds. It would have been less with the shoes, but I do got three pairs of shoes. However, that boosts me up to $46. And it is some pretty good items, so I am comfortable with that. The Goodwill outlet that I go to is $199 if it's under 50 pounds, and then over 50 pounds is $169. Of course, this wasn't over 50 pounds, but if you want cheaper, you know, price volume, definitely go over the 50 pound mark. But, you know, I did what I could do at that time. But yeah, that was a good pickup, so definitely looking to sell that. I've, this was, oh so amazing to me like i love pink victoria's secret Ooh, wrong foot and this is the double scrapped graphic victoria's secret pink slippers that's the bottom of it it do have a little wear but it's still in great condition as well i measured it to be a size 11 in women's 
So definitely looking to flip that for at least twenty to eighteen dollars. I got it listed in the store for thirty dollars, but that's just so I can send out offers and still make a good return back. That was super cute. Another pair of shoes that I have. Sorry, I'm really digging in this bag. Oh, another pair of shoes that I have that I actually heard about this brand from Mogi Beth. If you guys don't watch her, I really encourage you to watch her because she is a six-figure reseller. And she knows what she's doing in the reselling business as well. So, I definitely look at her. This is Sperry. That's the way I say it. And it's the top cider. It got the beautiful fox fur inside with the suede out and outside. And this is a eight this is a men's this is an eight medium it is leather upper is a hundred percent wool lining so these shoes is in great condition it really has no wear to it the fur inside is like really white so that's super cute and then the bottom has like little no wear at all so i definitely look to sell that for a good amount these are already listed in the store as well as these items over here so those particular shoes right there can sell anywhere from 45 and up so i'm looking to list that again around like 55 and see how that do as well really comfortable with that so that's the shoe portion let's get into the clothes portion because we do not want this video to be a long video or do we so let's see so, first item, I thought that this was very summery and spring vibes. And it is just a LL Bean regular size tank top. It's a size small. Let me try to go quick. And I love the scrap. The scrap is elastic. And it's just, it was a super cute color, honestly. And this was probably like a quarter. So. I know this will probably go for like $10, but it is okay because that is something that someone's going to need in the summertime when it gets hot. Tank tops is always a must, so I actually like that. This is Chaser. As you guys know, I'm trying to pick up this brand a lot when I see it. This is a size medium. It's in very good condition, and it doesn't resell for a crazy amount, but you can get a good from 35 to like from 18 dollars to 35 dollars on it sorry and this is i love the scratch of this i also love the tie side detail that is super darling and this is like a midnight green i want to say i love it it's super cute and where you think this is peeling is actually not that's the design of the shirt so again this is chaser super cute love that if i forget to say what i'm listening for bear with me because it's a lot of stuff here and i'm trying to get done this is eileen fisher the salvation army had a huge massive dollar sale with eileen fisher if you didn't watch my i think it's my last video go because you will be amazed of the stuff that i found i found cardigans that retail for 378 dollars and you can resell it for like 75 dollars eileen is a good brand to pick up eileen fisher this is a large and again another cardigan so let's see this is a cardigan it's like uh i'm gonna say buttermilk i'm not gonna give it a white or a beige but it's super cute it has two pockets on the side it is let's see it is nylon and spandex so yeah yep and again eileen Turn it around. Got the two pocket detail. That's cute. This is a North Face in the New England area. And the one in the bins that I go to in Connecticut, they have a lot of um North Face. Sorry, they have a lot of the North Face, which these can sell from anywhere from thirty five to forty five. So 
No Face is always good to pick up. I don't see the value going no lower because it's still trendy up into today. So this is the No Face. It is an extra large. I'm assuming that this is men. Yep, men's. Okay, and the good thing about them, you never have to really guess because their clothes literally sell women or men. And it says it's in English and Spanish, which is super cute. And this is just like a, a half zip pullover fleet. It's a olive green color, no flaws. Super cute. This is a new to me brand, but the reason why I picked this particular thing up is because one, we all know that I'm trying to scale my business and the new to me brands is the brands that have been making me the most money because they either in um Italian they either in Italian like um language or like um how do you say like French or whatever like that. So it's like brands that you like really can't pronounce but they make you the most money so always look up them brands so yeah but this one is maggie london i could pronounce this one but either way i didn't know it and it was also velvet and there's a velvet dress definitely speak spring vibes especially because everything is opening back up people is looking to go out elegant sexy beautiful weddings <laughs> dates like dating apps they're ready for it and i'm ready to sell it to them so this is a long sleeve um velvet velour deep v-neck dress and it has a zip back you can zip it down on the back and it is a us 10 again this was a new to me brand but i've looked up this brand and this particular dress alone is selling from from 45 to 50 dollars so that's good right there and again i've spent 46 dollars on all of this stuff it's 27 pounds but it's not bad because one of these or two of these items combined can give me my money back so that's the main reason i like going to the bin because you never have to worry about oh i need five items to make my money back or like if you go to goodwill and pick up an item for like ten dollars and your cost of goods is like ten dollars for each item that's pretty scary because you can leave goodwill paying roughly like three hundred dollars and sometimes you can think that you're gonna make your money back but it's not always true so sometimes we have bad buys this is so cute and this is like a midi dress and i just wanted to show you guys the bottom of it and it's so cute again i just sold a velvet j crew top and i just sold a velvet dairy shirt for 45 dollars the j crew top i think i sold for 35 dollars and this i'm gonna list it up for 55 hoping to get 45 off of it so yeah it's definitely a new to me brand cannot wait to sell it it's a beautiful velvet maroon or burgundy you can see that velvet and that's oh my god that's so cute that's number one and oh let me see which is super cute because you look to sell stuff i forgot to show you guys that it also has an inside slip to it so definitely wanted to show you that because you know some people like that to have extra coverage extra slips and stuff so that's super cute i knew that this was gonna sell from like 15 18 lowest like 15 i'm hoping I really, i'm really scared to say 10 but i think it's gonna go there but i don't mind because i knew that it was gonna sell it was ll bean it is 100 percent polyester is a large regular and it is made in el salvador and it got a little peeling on the arms but overall is a fleet half half zip jacket it also has a zip on the sleeve which is super cute and i just like the color i also feel like this is beautiful spring vibes like if you don't want to put on a heavy coat and you're just going out but you want to be a little warm just put on this fleek again a good 18 to 15 dollars honestly probably 10 but again as i said i only paid 46 dollars for all of these items so i am comfortable with selling this for 10 dollars for sure <laughs> okay so that's that this is another somebody threw this right in front of me out their card 
like literally they didn't want it they said Phew, and it came right back to me real quick i said oh pick that up but this is a ll bean it is woman's medium and is made in the usa and there's freeport main ll bean and there's a beautiful nice cozy like teddy bear type of sweater and it also has that chest pocket which is super cute i love i love pockets on my sweaters and different garments because we all need pockets seriously but this is also i think green was the day because i got a lot of stuff in green and i didn't even notice that but yeah this is super cute and this is a, it's a medium and it says it's woman but they really look oversized but i like oversized items like i dress oversized so i wouldn't mind that and i definitely wouldn't mind wearing this but i'm gonna give it i'm gonna sell it i'm gonna do a good deed and this is so cute again i don't mind getting from 35 to 45 on this as well it also has the the pull-in screen where you can tighten it to your fit and it has um patch pockets which is on each side so each side has a pocket and i'm about to show you guys there's pockets right there so that was super cute so yeah typically when i go to the bins i take my time i look while people is rushing i'll be patient because at the end of the day, you're going to find treasures. They're going to find treasures. I don't see the point in rushing. I really do see the point in taking your time, trying to look, see uh, after each rotation, go through your cart, see what you want, see if any flaws is there. I don't care if it's like Tory Burch and if the bag is damaged beyond measurements, don't pick it up. Like, seriously, it's okay. In due time, you will find another bag that gives you that same you know feeling that you not for the other one sorry but I had to pick up this one and we do have about i'm gonna say a good 10 more items in here i know i'm trying to get through it this i had to pick this up this was so cute oh this definitely gives me 80 vibes for real and this is a insulated black box right color block color block box wow oh tongue twister but yeah and it was um like plaid in the inside but that's the in it's insulated inside and it has that nice 80s scratch to it. it i think this is a vintage ll beam it's the original fit is a 16 made in mexico and whoa even this the rn tag is like paper so I definitely think that this is made in Mexico. I would love to see what is made of though. This is 100% cotton. So it's 100% cotton. And please look at the inside of these. You will not believe this. Just bear with me. Look at this. Isn't that cute? I can't. I can't believe these pants. I really can't. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. And this is the inside. No, it's not reversible. Don't think that. But look at that color on there. It's highly insulated and it's super cute. Do I think that it's going to sell now? Maybe. Because we have some parts of the world that's really cold right now. And we have some parts that are really hot right now. But do I think it's going to sell fast? No. Do I think it's going to be a good flip? Of course. Because people is really seeking out their 80 vibes. People is really just here for this type of beauty that i got in my hand and again i'll show you guys the other side of these pants so beautiful i really like these i'm not even joking i looked at it and i just sunk to the world like yes i am picking those up again i'll list these for 35 dollars 35 dollars it dropped adriano goldstein agg's made in the usa these are the stevie ankle slim scrape black lease is not all the way skinny because skinny jeans people say is out of style do i think it's out of style no i don't think that do they think that yeah they think that but 
Either way, this is the ADGs. If you guys can't see, it's black. My camera is kind of booting it out a little bit. But yeah, just regular black jeans. That I will list for like 35. This was so small, but I had to pick it up because somebody is small around this way, right? That way is zero. I think so. Hmm. We'll see. I don't like picking up these sizes because it really sits. But this is American Eagle. It's a scratch fit, and it is a size zero. Is the mo is the mom jean and mom jean American Eagle scratch and tag size zero i love listening to american jeans because you really don't have to do all the work it's literally inside the jeans that's the best and we have the little speech that they always give so we're here for that and show you guys the jeans which and, and the reason why i picked it up too because it was heavily discussed as well so even if it's like skinny jeans and it's heavily disgraced, I think somebody is seeking that for sure. Someone's always seeking disgraced jeans, so pick it up. And this is like this side is like really disgraced, and then this side is like disgraced on the hem. But I still think that that goes with the jeans. Again, let me show you. This is a good twenty-five dollars to twenty, but it's also a quick flip. That's why I picked that up. Okay. <laughs> this I couldn't leave down first time, like, picking up something like this. But I think that Jack Daniel has a huge following. Are you guys with me on that one? Your friends at Jack Daniels remind you to drink responsibly. So true. I think the world need to hear that statement. It is so true. When you're drinking, always be responsible. Know what you're doing be aware stay home don't drive it's okay to not go out one night you're saving your life and the lives of others now i love this scarf old number seven brand and this is the back of the scarf i guess it's a one size fit all and hey again this was something that i just needed to pick up i know in my head it's only gonna go for like eight to ten dollars but i'm okay with that i'm okay with that because that was something, when you got the bins, you could at least play with a few items. And that was something that I definitely wanted to dip and dab on. Because I just thought that it's cute and it was so. I'm starting to get into dresses because I'm starting to like dresses. I know it's ironic. Yeah, but that's pretty me. Really unpredictable. It is what it is at this point. This is a cold shoulder, one scrap top, blouse, cross chest, no scrap right here and it is a david and brightness eight beautiful 100 percent polyester dress and we know that david and bridal can sell for a lot of money or it can sell in the 20 to 30 dollar range but however it is one of the number one places that you can get your dresses from we're talking about bridal shop we're talking bridal dresses we're talking about wedding dresses we're talking about bride maid dresses we're talking about parties anything so this is like a mini dress but it's so cute and it's that dark purple super cute this right here is selling for about 40 to 50 dollars so that's exactly what i'm gonna list this dress for this dress is i got pictures of it but i have to do measurements on it so just bear with me with that and it has a little split back, but I thought, and the, the zip back actually, but this dress was so cute. I just had to pick it up. I liked it. This is Lily. And we're not gonna say that last, last name because I know it in my head, but I'm gonna butcher it out loud. And it is an extra small. I thought that this was super trendy. I mean, on um, Poshmark, I think they sold this for $75. One of them, another one, I think, sold for $50. On other sites, they got this thing priced high. So, and this is actually starting to, it slowed down for a bit. But it's coming back really strong. And I hear a lot of people are selling this brand. So, please pick it up for sure. And I love the, the art on it. This is really, keyword, art to wear. 
this look like you're, you're the museum you in the art museum and pictures have a lot of words so what do you think this sweatshirt is saying what do you think about that well, what do you think about that <laughs> i think that's beautiful i love paintings and this is so cute really there's a lot going on here it looked like a big bubble gum machine then it looked like it's just oh wow like an art gallery it has the pockets that attach see and over here it's beautiful it has the half zip <laughs> it got the the really the zip going on which is super cute and i will list this for about 55 dollars in my store because i think that's a good price to list it up yep this made my day and will pay for my whole haul or will be my whole profit depending on when it sells if it sells first it's gonna pay for my haul if it sells last is this profit in my pocket can i lose or not no i cannot this is a win-win for sure this is saint john's caviar and this is the second time i found this brand i'm so worried about found this brand okay let's get back to the video saint john's and it is a size eight and it is made in the usa it has beautiful shoulder pads great condition and i love that collar cut right and it has stitch white stitches along the collar and it's very tight knitted and it is a nice marbled fold cuff super cute then it has like four po two pockets on each side and this is how it looks and again one of these sold for 75.90 st john's is really expensive if you guys don't know about this brand don't pass it up if you pass it up give it to me because i'm looking for it i'm just playing but um <laughs> but um i love the marvel button on there you see how it changes colors that is so cute wow guys i'm gonna price that like at 70. beat some of the competition still get a good return pays for my whole haul and that's a wrap for that this is last but not least but i don't really pick up j crew but i see a lot of people selling j crew but they like it's like if they're selling a the new label j crew at least i think but some do pick up the old label j crew but still i just feel like new or old label like j, j. crew just kind of slipped for me so it's like oh but either way this is a size six and then j crew and it's a hundred percent linen And that is super cute. So I actually really enjoyed this Goodwill trip. I'm going to start going to the Goodwill outlet every Monday. So hopefully you guys will get a nice and detailed video about what I got, how much I paid, how much pounds was it, and a good idea of what you can get from the bins. If you haven't went, please let me encourage you to go because... We're paying Goodwill like seven dollars for like each item, which is seven to a hundred. <laughs> like they're really out of line with their prices. And Salvation Army, as I said, they're totally not out of line. Not the one that I go to because it's three sales in a day, like a week period. Is one color is a dollar, two is fifty percent off, and is a total of three. And it's some really good gems there, but the Goodwill outlet it just overbeats all of that because in reality this St. John piece costs over three hundred dollars just for this. But at the bins, I got all of these pieces for forty six dollars. That is not bad. Right here I have over 20 pieces in here that's not bad at all because if you have over 20 pieces of clothes you're spending a thousand and up or close to a lot of money on your clothing so please if you didn't go to the bins go so happy that you guys are supporting me i'm almost at 20,000 views and total videos thank you guys for getting me there thank you for subscribing to my video i love hearing from you wait click that bell
love when you guys do that you're letting youtube know that you're interested in my content guys i appreciate you because you are really watching the videos and you are really just liking commenting messaging me i really appreciate it thank you for your support until next time bye